In March 1974, I was in royalty protection as Princess Anne's protection officer. I was aged 31. There was very little of any training. I mean, there was a little bit on firearms and that, that was about it. This is back in the 70s. Nothing had ever happened. So the furthest thing from my mind was somebody that was going to do us any harm. The police have today been carefully checking the royal car which was attacked last night as it was taking Princess Anne and Captain Mark Phillips back to Buckingham Palace. We were travelling in a royal uh, limousine. I was sitting in the front seat with the driver. Princess Anne was sitting behind the driver. Mark Phillips was sitting beside her. And as we travelled up the mall towards Buckingham Palace, a white car pulled in front of the royal limousine, causing us to stop. The driver of the car got out. I thought he was a, an irate motorist. I got out of the front of the car, and just as I came out, he shot at me. I had no time to think on anything, really, which is just as well, because probably thinking isn't one of my specialities. We had no communications in the car. We had nothing. You were just literally on your own. If you put a radio in a car, you needed lots of aerials and stuff like that. And uh, it was deemed that on a royal car, it would have spoiled the looks of it. I got level with the door and, and Ian Ball was speaking to Princess Anne. One of the things I heard was her saying, you know, why do you want me? Ian Ball was after a ransom. Her actions were extremely good. I mean, she was cool, calm and collected. I went back a little bit behind the car and uh, took my gun out. I tried to shoot at him, but because I'd already been hit in the chest, it made my arm floppy. And I tried the two hands, but then the gun jammed. It was just, he's a villain, so keep going for him. I went into the car and then Ian Ball turned back. He fired and uh, there was this sort of bang thing um, and the bullet went into my hand. For some reason, I thought there was a crowd out behind him. So I said to uh, Mark Phillips, release the door and I'll kick it because my feet were beside it. And then I was under the assumption it would hit Ian Ball and knock him back into this imaginary crowd. And of course, uh, there wasn't a crowd there. And when I kicked the door open, he was just standing there with his gun. He had two guns, one in each hand. I can remember seeing, you know, the gun in the barrel pointing towards me. He shot me again in the abdomen. Um, I was pretty dazed, so I got out of the car. I remembered I'd got a new suit on and I didn't want to fall down and damage it. But by then, you know, I was, I was really out of it. Um, and luckily, of course, other people got involved by then, so he got caught. His sentence was to be detained during Her Majesty's pleasure. And uh, as far as I'm aware, he's still so detained. The publicity was a wee bit different and probably more difficult to handle than the actual incident. Up until then, I was just uh, an ordinary sort of bobby, and on the 21st of March, I was a security expert. What was going through your mind when all this was happening? It was all very quick, of course. Probably, you know, I wanted to get him. When Princess Anne came and saw me in hospital, um, she, she, we chatted away for a wee while, and she said, you know, sort of, thank you very much. The Queen spoke to the men in the white drawing room at Buckingham Palace. Also there were Princess Anne and her husband, Captain Mark Phillips, meeting their rescuers for the first time since the attack. After the shooting incident, there was no psychiatrists, no nothing. I came home, spent six, well, nearly six months, and went back to work, and they said, oh, hello, you're back, and that was it.